going to walk through a variety of different ways to create ad hoc tests, uh, also called one-off tests uh, or manual tests. Uh, so this is when a uh, person is creating the test uh, explicitly through an action um, versus having the test created automatically through an indirect action. So for example, if you wanted a test uh, whenever something was posted, that would be an automatic um, action versus a clicking a button just to create that test. Now you can combine um, ad hoc tests or one-off tests uh, with automation. So for example, if your primary use case is, uh, you know, automate a test for, you know, the majority of this is the scenario, uh, but you also need to, you know, just create these one-off tests occasionally, uh, you can definitely combine them. Now the first thing to review is uh, the permissions uh, the itself. So if you navigate to quality inspectors and uh, quality inspection permissions, uh, you're going to see that you have the ability to refine who's allowed to create the test manually and automatically. And uh, again, automatically in this context means that it is um, done through uh, an indirect action and manually effectively means it's done through, you know, a user explicitly uh, creating or pressing a button. So the first way of doing it is uh, just on some uh, forms itself. So we do ship with uh, several different uh, actions out of the box for uh, the primary use cases that we tend to see. Uh, so a good example would be on purchase orders. So if we navigate to the purchase order, uh, we can navigate to a line, we'll see a quality inspection, and we'll see the, this option here to create a test. So we have these actions in a few different spots um, throughout the system uh, for you know, the, the more typical examples. And if you create a test here, you're going to notice that it just uh, immediately creates that test, right? So there's no prompts. Now, which test it decides to use is based on your uh, rules. So for example, we see here that it's using the receiving template. And if we were to take a look at that uh, receiving template on the test generation rules, uh, we can see that um, in this case here, we basically said that any, any purchase line at all under any circumstance is going to be using this uh, receiving test. All right. Now, uh, if you wanted to have uh, item specific tests, you could configure it here. You can put in the item number there. Uh, that's absolutely doable. Uh, the other way of um, uh, doing it would be from the template itself. So if we navigate um, not through the document, uh, but instead we just try and find the template. So we'll just try and find the uh, test plan itself that we're trying to execute. So let's say that we wanted to create um, uh, an instance of this. We'll just do the receiving example here. Uh, we can just use the create test action here. Uh, now, this is going to be a little bit different because at this point we need to now choose what to connect it to. So we know what our receiving code is. Um, so now we have to choose uh, what we want to connect it to. So these are all the different possibilities of things we could connect it to based on our configuration. Uh, so we're just going to navigate, or we're going to tell the system to do it with a uh, purchase. We're then going to choose our record. And since this is now uh, configured to look at purchase lines, it'll show us the available purchase lines in the system. Uh, we shall choose a Athens desk. And if it was a uh, lot tracked or serial tracked, then those uh, uh, fields would be choosable as well. So we're just going to create that quality inspection uh, test here. All right. And then there we get our quality inspection test. Now there's another way of creating the quality inspection test, and that is also from an existing quality inspection test list. Uh, so from here, uh, what you can do is you can also just create a test directly, right? Um, and the template it defaults to will be the same template of whatever you happen to have selected, and it's the same general flow as the uh, action that uh, it would be from the quality inspection test template, right? So you would choose uh, your record. Uh, same thing, we're just going to choose an item. Let's choose an Ethernet cord here. And in this case, uh, this item is lot tracked, so we see how it opens up the lot number to be editable. And then we can uh, choose the lot number uh, that we're trying to create this test against. So here are several lot numbers uh, that I have in my system that I can create the test against. And then it'll create it again for that lot number. All right, so so far we've got creating a test from the page itself. Definitely the fastest way, it saves you a whole prompt. Uh, you can create a test from the test list and uh, also from the template. Now, um, let's say that you uh, just wanted to quickly add on uh, an action in the system. Uh, so there's two different ways of doing it. One is through 
a, uh, an extension into the system and another is through Power Automate. So we're going to go through both of those different examples. Uh, so to have code that would um, create a test for you that would act similarly to uh, that action uh, that we saw on the purchase order, uh, it's really one, one line of code here, right? So create test and uh, you can pass it in. So we do have a code unit just called uh, IWX QI create test. And there's actually several different options uh, to create a test depending on what you have. So if you have a record ref, um, if you have multiple variant records that you need to create a test with, you just have a single one and uh, things of that nature. So uh, there's several different options that you can uh, create that test with. And uh, the easiest one is just this create test with variant because you can effectively pass in whatever you have, whether it's a record or a record ref or a variant. All right. Now, if we see that in action, so in this case here, we've decided to uh, add this action into the lot number information card. All right. So we're going to uh, publish this up. And on our examples, we're just going to look up our lot number information. And if we open up uh, any lot number information, then we will find our example create test. And then we'll see here that it acts uh, very similarly to um, the action that's on the purchase order subform. Right? So with very low code, uh, if there's an action that you need uh, that's not there out of the box, it's definitely still doable. Right? Um, there's also another way, which is without using it through an extension, and that's through Power Automate. Um, now, in, in both the cases of the Power Automate and with this action, you'll, you'll notice that it still found that template in the same way that it did with the uh, purchase order. Right? So you still had the template and it had a test generation rule to help the system figure out which test it should be creating under that circumstance. Okay. Uh, so the final way is just with uh, Power um, Automate. So I've got an ex uh, example here just called create test on the lot number. Um, and it's uh, very straightforward. So if we navigate to that uh, Power Automate, we shall see Uh, create test on lot number. And if we just edit this to take a look at it, uh, we see that it's really two simple actions. Now, when you would want to use Power Automate versus, say, just a simple extension would be if you need to integrate in with some other workflows, right? So if you have to, you know, maybe send a Teams message or, you know, send an email or do something of that nature where you're integrating with external systems, uh, Power Automate's a, a good way of, of doing that. If it's uh, really just as simple as, you know, you want a button that just says create test and you just want the test and there's no real other workflow associated with it, um, then that simple extension, uh, you know, a one-liner method call is probably the, the way to go. Uh, but really all you're doing is you're just putting in the selected record, uh, you're putting in the page that you, you want that action on, and then the uh, action itself is just going to be uh, inside of the inventory, or sorry, inside of um, your system. So I'm just going to connect this up to my system here. So we're going to say it's on quality inspections. And then you'll see that there's a create test on record. Uh, so you just pass in the same the system ID. And this is from uh, your dynamic content, which you get from the for selected record. And you'll also see that table ID as well. So you just plop those in, uh, you save it, and then this will create the test behind the scenes. Now, an important differentiation is uh, you, you can't get that test uh, opened up immediately inside of Power Automate because it is uh, all kind of behind the scenes. So if we were to create that test on the lot number, we'll see that it asks to run a flow. So we're going to run that flow and it'll let us know that it's successful. Now behind the scenes, this would have created a quality inspection test. And if we uh, navigate back, uh, we should be able to see that we've uh, now got that quality inspection test. So there's the one we created earlier with a button and then there's the one that we created with uh, Power Automate. All right, so those are the several different ways of uh, creating a test ad hoc um, or, or one-off or manual. And you again, you can combine these uh, with um, automation. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content.